But if we're going to help, if we're going to keep risking our lives, no more lies, no more half-truths. Oh, and how could I forget about that? What happened to no more lies and half-truths? Of course not. You're your own person. Don't lie to him, Ruby. We're better than that. Husband did nothing wrong. Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be jumping into the third chapter for Ruby Volume 7 titled Ace Operative. This is going to be my reaction for it. And this is coming off of the heels of a densely talked about episode in the last week. Uh, the big talking point is the, the morality, the justifications, the pros and cons of lying. Uh, Ozma basically got, or Ozpin Ozma basically got a lot of shit by the characters in universe as well as the fandom last year um, for his little white lies of, of withholding information regarding say regarding his origins with salem uh, the origins of you know, basically the second generation of humanity as well as the questions for jinn and when i was seeing that parallel uh and that perspective be flipped and applied to ruby who's in the same situation that ozpin was in making the tough calls and being in that situation of not knowing what's right but doing what you hope is best right lying to ironwood about the questions of jinn basically telling half truths she basically told him what Ozpin told them, but didn't tell the whole truth of like the clarifications of it, right? Especially with how I, how Ozpin is no longer in the picture, right? Ta like she basically left out the whole backstory history of Ozma and Salem. And I can understand their perspective and their reasonings for that. But when you take into consideration Ironwood's plans, like, hey, I got this satellite. I'm going to broadcast to the world Salem's existence. We're going to fight her. We're going to destroy her. It's immediately contradicted by the fact that Team Ruby knows that Salem can't be killed but they're withholding that information from Ironwood. And then on top of that, you have the villains. You have Tyrion and Watts making plays in Mantle. Tyrion's going, having a fucking field day killing random people. Watts is basically watchdogging the entire place and hacking everything. Um, Salem's on her way. Uh, Cinder and Neo are, are, are basically um, going to be anomalies at some given point during this arc. And I feel like the world as a, as it's cur in its current state... Ironwood plan is is a good plan, but it's just poorly executed by the fact that humanity is not united. No one sees each other as comrades. Everyone's at odds with each other. No one's going to be singing Kumbaya coming together to deal with Salem. And he's essentially sending pigs to the slaughter. And the longer Team Ruby goes without telling them this, the worse and worse it's going to get when they inevitably have to tell him and be like, hey, Ozpin lied to all of us. We also lied to you. And then seeing how Ironwood handles that. So, um, very dense episode. We had a live stream discussion talking about the nitty gritty of everything. Um, it was very engaging, really well put together. I'm currently working on the rapid fire review for it. Uh, but overall, getting into this episode, we kind of transition a little bit into what this episode can give us. Obviously, it's going to be focusing a bit on the Ace Operatives, how the last episode ended as well. Everyone's getting the R&R &R after the events of Volume 6, the ending events of Volume 6 in the first couple of episodes, getting um, basically relinking up with Ironwood and and winter and you know being cordial with the with the aesops and everything and we've seen a little bit of the thumbnails of the episode this is the episode i think or pretty much the episode where team ruby and company are going to be getting their weapons and their, their their new weapon upgrades and their outfits like we saw in the trailer and i think the trailer also is basically setting up for what this episode is going to be with them doing the landing strategies you know entering the mines and and working alongside the ace operatives for whatever ironwood has in store for for them dealing with maybe the geist grim the sentinels and everything else like that so i'm really excited for that obviously it's almost like a new beginning new outfits new weapons new motivations uh it just really comes down to like the longer team ruby goes without telling the truth the more upset i'm going to get with them because withholding that information it could be for you know it, they could have the best of intentions but if they go into the fight with salem or if they you know or if they have ironwood believe that they have a chance of winning without really telling them that's where i have a little bit of an issue so uh with all that said we're gonna be jumping into the episode really quick though uh at the time of me recording this you guys will be seeing this a week after the fact but at the time of me recording this uh the youtube channel actually just passed 95 thousand subscribers um i've had my channel for the last six and a half years you know ruby is a big part of that growth over the years with do me doing reviews and then reactions live stream discussions and everything else in between i've done anime reviews i've done gaming content here and there 
and I'm actually really just I'm just really shell shocked to know that we're less than 5,000 subscribers away from the big 100 milestone. Um, you know, the silver play button is a big is a is a huge milestone. It's probably like the biggest accomplishment that I've made in my life. Um, you know, for for a personal goal of mine, and I'm really excited. And I'm really happy, and I'm really thankful for all of you who are hopefully in the live chat watching this now, or even those of you who are watching this at any given point, whether it's your lunch break or you know it's the middle of the night and you just you know you want you know you're watching this as a form of entertainment. Uh, I really want to say thank you guys for the, the the your generosity your kindness your support over the years for for whenever you guys have discovered my channel or whatever content that you guys continue to consume and enjoy uh 100k is a big deal for me you know I, I it wasn't until maybe a year or two ago that i was actually starting to think like wow i could potentially get 100k but in the first three four years of my channel i never thought that that'd be something that i'd be able to live to see especially with everything that's happened over the last couple of years you know over the the course of my channel's history so um for those of you who are watching this point right here i definitely just want to say thank you guys very very much for the continued support 5k subs is going to go by like that i i'd be baffled if we managed to get 100k by the end of ruby um i don't think that's possible but definitely 2020 is when 100k gets here i already know what my 100k special video is going to be obviously the silver play button is going to be a part of that and i want to kind of do a 100k series because 100k is the big thing for me i don't think i'll ever reach a million like legitimately i don't think i'll ever reach a million subs especially at the rate that i'm going now with getting to 100k um but i, I don't know i just wanted to kind of dedicate a portion of this video to say that because by the time you guys see it we'll have well past the 5k uh the the 95k milestone so uh thank you guys so much for the support as always leave your thoughts in the comments of anything that i mentioned this reaction your thoughts overall and without further ado let us begin. All right, guys, we're going to be jumping into the reaction for Ruby Volume 7, Chapter 3, titled Ace Operatives. 17 minutes, 33 seconds, which is really impressive in terms of, like, runtime consistency. Chapter 1 was 18 minutes. Last chapter was 17. This one's 17. We have 10 chapters left. And it's like, this series is getting closer and closer to, like, the traditional 22, 23-minute, like, anime runtime. We've come such a long way from the, like, the, the dark days of Volume 1, like, the 4 and 5-minute episodes week to week week so that's really exciting to see i hope they are, are, are able to keep it up i'm also going to have closed captions i was told that closed captions for volume 7 is a lot more reliable and and consistent in and of itself and it doesn't skip around like it did during like volume 6 and genlock so um if i like them i'll keep them from here on out and it'll also help if i can't hear something in my headset if i'm like popping off then at the very least i'll be able to read it on my screen and if, if need be i'll rewind if i need to uh but with all that said thank you guys for the support leave your thoughts in the comments as always Always, thank you all for being live in the chat for when this is premiered on my channel and without further ado we're gonna be starting in three two one now all right i don't know why it like glitches out a little bit at the beginning there yeah there we go all right here we go anime opening all right i got the notes i got the lyrics down all right here we go keep dreaming about a better world you keep wishing for some clarity always hoping that a lightning bolt is gonna save you from this gravity. You're holding up for some romantic life. Maybe you'll wake up in a world of charm. Oh, but what's here could set you free. You don't have to dream. Your life's a masterpiece. If you just believe. And all you see is all you need. Right now your hopes are shattered. Just pointless ever after But in time you'll find through love Your power just shines I love you, Penny! When you don't know where to turn to And you're sure all hope is gone When the day you waited for won't come And dark won't yield to dawn Trust love And open up your eyes Trust love the truth is there, but sometimes in disgust The way's uncertain, but we're together Moving towards the light When we trust in love And open up our eyes Let's go! Woo! Oh my god, yo, I really, like, every week to week That opening just gets better and better Alright, here we go, new outfits! Yo! They're gonna like pop off, they're gonna jump out of the airship like they did All in right, the trailer. 
Clover, yo! Our mission today is to secure the launch site for the Amity Communications. Oh, tower. that's where it's gonna be. Okay. Abandoned, abandoned dust, dust mines. mines. Okay, Since that's from the trailer as well. Moved in. Oh my God! A lot more it's stuff! Yo! I love. It. Yo, I'm gonna freeze frame and enhance and everything. Apologies. I literally didn't hear a word he said because I'm like getting. Okay, okay, okay. Designated area is an abandoned dust. He's briefing. Since its closure, the Grim have moved in. Okay, the Geist, the Sentinels. All that untouched dust is still down there too. Well, science team says they'll need it for the first phase of their launch. Okay. Apologies for the mess. Pietro. Yes. The upgrades you requested were. Upgrades. Atlas military huntsmen are already hard at work clearing up. Oh wow! Corners. Look at that. The recon what kind of grim are those? A powerful geist that's managed to evade destruction. Okay, there's a geist here. Lives. What grim did he just numbers, kill? The geist was smart enough to retreat into the mine itself. Wow. Meaning. Smart geist. And extremely dangerous. Yep. There you go. The this dust is gigas. Our target. <laughs> Look at Nora, she's like just like me. I'm so glad. From the vital festival tournament. Wow! Uh, some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. Uh, oh, but for now, uh, he should serve you well enough. The mine was elaborate back in the day. Wow! There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. Okay. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split up and corner it. Oh, Jean, the Pyrrhus. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of combat. <laughs> Hell yeah! I trust that man with my life. Yep. So tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all too. Yeah, Team Ruby, you guys need to trust Ironwood as well. You guys lied to him. Oh, are they gonna talk? I wonder if he's gonna be like, yo, Ruby, why the hell did you lie? Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, let's go! Oh, no music! Yo, the landing strategy! Oh my god! <gasps> Dude, the first song! Oh my god, yo! They're full landing strategies! Oh, this is so sick! Blake finally cut her hair! <laughs> Yes! Wow, look at these guys! These guys are badass! I'm so excited to see the Aesops in action. Okay, so they have Marrow and Hair. Oh, the whole squad! <laughs> oh, that too! Yo, the trailer didn't show this! Oh, you're such a badass! Ah! What? You kids won't get yourselves killed after all. It's like hard light dust and gravity. She you like repelled off the floor. Aw. <laughs> Be nice to Jean. Yo, this Crow's got his outfit too. Proceeding on foot. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. <laughs> Keep your eyes and ears. That looks like a Nintendo I Switch, like the, the Joy Cons. The That's oh, literally wow. a Joy Con. Get out of here. Uh, sorry. Oh. Just. Not used to the new hair yet. Oh, uh, she likes it, huh? Is it bad? <laughs> no, no. Oh, she's it's good. blushing. Great, even. <laughs> Man, I did not sign up to be a babysitter. Yeah, well, the rest of us. Oh, that was such a time. nice reaction. <laughs> okay, hold on. Schneidel's company. I need to back up really quick. I literally feel overstimulated right now by everything that just fucking happened. Look at that. They have like updated images on their scrolls. Like I'm so overstimulated. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh my god! Oh my god! So first off, new music! New music! Oh, uh, the volume 7 soundtrack's underway. I can't hear a word of the lyrics, but it sounds good. I trust Kate- Yo, the piano! Oh, I already know it's gonna have a piano. <laughs> Wow, this was such a grand entrance. This was a, I'm glad they didn't show everything and I had no idea Team Juniper had a landing, a landing intro as well. Look at this guy's weapon, like a boomerang, that's sick. Oh my God. Woo. This is my this favorite, favorite. favorite. you she's so awesome. <laughs> she's like, I want like, oh my God. Look at this, 
Jean's so badass! And then he bounces! Dude, you see the purple? That's like light ha -ha! hard light dust and gravity? Kids won't get yourselves killed after all. Oh boy. She meant that as a compliment. I hope so. That'll hit that'll hit close to home. They've lost this a is teammate. Alpha squad. LZ's clear. Proceeding on foot. Oh official scrolls, military so jargon. Keep your eyes and ears open. Or a level. I want an update if you encounter the target. Oh, R W Y B, uh, that's cool. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> just not used to the new hair yet. Wow. Is it bad? It looks no, really good no, on her. It's good. Great. It's even. like wavy Man, too. I did not sign up to be a babysitter. Yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick that up either the first time. Schnee Dust Company. Hmm. You gotta clean up your family's act, unfortunately, Weiss. My god, there's so much stuff! This is like Mountain Glen, but like way better. This is like a second attempt it's at like freezing out here. an expanded Without area. Or a projected aura, the cold of solitude. What? Can kill you. Excuse me? Without heating or a projected aura, projected the cold of aura can kill you in a matter of hours. I suddenly Aura feel can save you from extreme weather. Can we talk about that again? That's oh wait, what again? Behind. Can we talk about that again please please talk about that again what about it we lied really to ironwood to ironwood what happened to oz what we learned about Jin in salem about salem we are we will you fucking better you saw how things looked when we flew into atlas the general's heart seems to be in the right place yes oh i'm so happy we need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions <laughs> oh my god okay. what the fuck how did oscar feel about that He's the host. He probably feels uh, like probably shit. Keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain, you know. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, but she left it behind. I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, uh, hiding things from Ironwood isn't the right thing. Doesn't that feel like what Ospen did to us? Yes! Oh my God! Thank you! Oh my fucking God! I'm so happy that it didn't take like the whole volume for this to happen. Cause this is what I've been harping on talking about for like the, it's what everyone's been talking about for the last week. It's like, are they really gonna not realize the hypocrisy in what they're doing? What happened to no more lies and half truths? I started the freaking video with it too. You know, don't lie to him, Ruby, we're better than that. And then you go on and do exactly what you guys berated and like chastised I um Ozpin for doing. I'm so happy they brought that up. I wanna see how that's, how. It makes things interesting because yeah, you're a team leader. You got to make the tough calls, and I want to see how she's gonna do that. Gotta say, I'm still not really used to working with other huntsmen in the field. Oh, that's but cool you were too. On the team before, weren't you? <laughs> team Stark. A long time ago. Yeah. I just found working alone tends to be for the best. Well, well I think he, he, you're shame. bad luck, and he's good luck. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, what? What? Is it happening right Alpha now? Here. Give me an update. Was Looks that his good luck? We should be approaching the actual countering his minute. bad luck. Oh this my is so God. exciting! <laughs> it feels like we're an actual Austin team. I am um, like what you did with your outfit. Oh then. wow! We should probably <laughs> stay focused on the mission. All right, Nora. Nora's oh. eyes on a different okay. prize. Aww. I like your outfit too. <laughs> uh, John, it's gonna take me a yeah, while to get used to you talking. With it's that really different, the main entrance. he looks so different. Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Oh my God, way, this is we'll so exciting. A problem solving. This is so Understood. exciting. Let us know if you need anything. I'm glad I have cold captions because okay? a lot of stuff I being said on the. Realize where we are. On the comms. This mine was closed after an explosion. Ilya's. I remember this disaster. Ilya's parents explosion. Rather, I remember how furious it made my father. Ilya's parents died in an explo a dust explosion. And all of my complacency in it. This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom, and humans are willing participants. They benefit yeah. from doing nothing to help us. He himself but is there a Faunus. Are still those who actively abuse us. Schneedus Company. Anyway, oh my Harry God! Adam's brand. To solve systemic societal issues. Harriet found a gap in the rubble. We think one of you could fit through. Ideally, someone with a knack for seeing in the dark. A Faunus. Uh, oh, of course. <laughs> Wow. Holy shit. So many things are happening right now. The Schnee Dust Company, that could be like Adam's brand, the explosion right, for Ilya's parents. 
They're building the, they're, they're, the yo the Atlas area. World building's being done Mine really cards, well. Uh, debris, no dust though. Great, then it should be safe to blast our way through. Okay. <laughs> you better be careful. Oh my god! Oh my god! That scared Let's the fuck out of me. Whoa! What? Hello? Don't let it get away. <laughs> Sentinels. The new Grim type. Yo, this is so sick. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh, I'd, I'd be, I'd curl up into that's a ball disgusting. and let it eat me. That is, oh my god, nightmare fuel right here. This is also part of the trailer. Yo, let's go. Yang's upgrades. Wait, wh what? 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 Explosives? Wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! She can inverse her, her crescent rose now! Wow, this is awesome! Skin. Oh! <laughs> what? Hold on! Hold! Hold! Did this man just fucking freeze time? Stay! Like, stay put, dog! Oh! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! Let's pick up the pace. I love their. Oh my! I need a minute. Oh my God, bro! This episode's so engaging. I love how he has the slow effect and she's like lightning speed. So it's like they're polar opposites, and she's got like these freaking crazy like exoskeleton arms that give her like i assume make her like incredibly powerful look at that weapon man that is so sick <laughs> wow stay oh my you're so badass dude you're so badass I already love the Aesops. I love them already. Oh. Okay, we have we have uh, Elm and uh, Zeki. Find Zeki. Yo, the Vine move from the intro. Wow, this is sick. Oh, what? What is happening? They just made these weapons a billion times cooler! A very head first approach. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just kind of our style. Dude! <sighs> I have to keep going back! Okay, that's a little too far back. Bro! So he's like literally a vine. Like, he's like plant based. I think that's plant dust. That might be plant dust. If not his, if not his semblance, actually. John has hard light dust and gravity. Ren has grapple freaking knives. And Dora looks like she has like a, a bouncy effect or electric dust. A very wow. First this is literally a new beginning yeah, for them. Well, that's just kind of our <laughs> I love Elm. She's so awesome. Wow. I am One freaking left. out right I now. Got it. Nope. You guys have a long way to go. <laughs> Your semblance makes you super fast, just like me. Wow. Very cool. Though, based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. Oh, this boy. We've engaged the target. That's a challenge. That's a challenge that Ruby's going to want to match. Yeah, so oh, they both oh, have speed hey, times. Hers is more like a speedster. This guy. <laughs> go fish. And now you guys are fucked. The dust gigas. Wow. I wonder how this is gonna work. I wonder if this Grim can channel dust, even though it's a Grim. Whoa, this guy's going right up on it. Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. Good luck. Yo. 
Oh my god, Crow's gonna have a fucking revelation. Last scene headed east. He's gonna realize bad things don't happen to people when he's around him. I wouldn't thank me. Wow. brings misfortune. And his death! Sometimes I can't keep it under control. That's so? He's like, well, I'm the opposite. Don't beat yourself up about it. Wow. My semblance is good <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucky you, huh? Lucky you? Oh my Charlie, god! Bravo. You should be able to cut off the target Crow's of the heart baffled of the mind. right now. And I won't be far behind. Lucky you, just like the, like the Higambana girl. She's like, top shelf, lucky you. Wow. Good luck and bad luck, hand in hand. They counteract each other. Ooh, that's not good. It must be really hot there. Guys! Everyone use caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. Yeah, I can tell. It could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. Yeah, and kill you guys in the process. With you. <laughs> I thought the target was supposed to be in here. Oh, trust me, it is. Oh, it is. Jesus. This is not good. This is not good at all. I would be, I would not be eager to Adding fight this thing in here. Body? Yep. And girders. Yo, let the Elm. professionals deal with it. Elm! So are they like married based on like the like the Elm and the Vine Aesop fable? It's based Five. on marriage. Five! Yo! Dynamic duo right here. Look at this guy! <laughs> Mr. Fantastic over here. Marrow. Look at the teamwork! Oh my god! Uh, Harriet! Look at them! Look at this camaraderie! Look at this! This is so cool! They're just sitting back and watching, like, don't even get in their way. They know what they're doing, they're pros. <laughs> Uh-oh! Maybe not the What would you guys do without me? Of course. <laughs> I don't know if you should give that to him, buddy. Wow. This is awesome! Look at this is so dynamic! Wow! Dude, the music too? Wow, good luck! <laughs> what? Yo, these guys are so awesome! Oh! <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me, Kruby. I've never seen a more well-oiled machine in my fucking life. Wow, look at that, they all got one. Harriet! Get it, get it, get it! She's a speedster! Oh, Kruby matched it! Yeah, I guess she's a little faster now. I thought you said your semblance was like mine. It's a little it better. Is? I've huh? seen other speed semblances before. That, that was different. Oh? I think there's more going on than you think. Wait, oh? she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> Ruby's gonna get an upgrade? Lucky catch, huh? Hmm, no. Wow. I chopped that one up to talent. Pause. You know what this reminds me of? And I, I I talked about this in the discussion. Their teamwork, now that I've seen the Aesops in action, they remind me of Squad Levi for anyone who's seen Attack on Titan. And I said in the discussion this past weekend, I, I said they remind, like just them as a team, just the way they look, the vibe that I got off from them. I was like, they remind me of Squad Levi. And we all know what happened to Squad Levi. So the fact that I'm really taken to them, they're they're like they have such great synergy, such great teamwork. They they work like a like they're like a single unit. Everyone's matching each other's flow. And I've never like I said, I've never seen a more well-oiled machine in my life. I do not know how I would feel liking them and pulling like they made them so likable that it makes it feel like they're gonna die. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, I I feel like that's easy prey to set up for something like that. But anyways, three, two, one. Atlas <clears throat> Patrol, this is Clover. 
Oh my god, Mission Elm is a beast! Look at her! Oh my god. Oh! Thanks it's for Forest! Oh, uh, I like this guy. I hope we get to see him more. Huh? Um? Where is he at? Hello? Oh no! Who are you? Don't fucking tell me you're gonna kill him! Oh. Well, I'm someone just like you. Come someone on! Who wants to mix things up around here. <laughs> Rooster teeth! What the fuck? I'm so angry right now! Oh my, oh my god, dude. Why does Rooster Teeth make some of the best side characters only to kill them like an ep within an episode of introducing them? I love this squad, dude. I can't right now. I'm like, my emotions are all over the place right now. I was just hyped as fuck and now I'm pissed off because he's dead. I really liked him. And I feel like that's what they're doing with the Aesops. I can't believe that, dude. Hook, line, and sinker, man. They literally, like, the voice actor for, for, for Forrest, I was gushing about Forrest in my live stream discussion yesterday so much, and I even tweeted at the voice actor, and I was like, dude, I loved your character. I hope we see him again. They did, like, this this weird, like, fruby campaign on Twitter, like, we need to see more of this guy, and they set it up, and I fell for it. Like, I... I, I'm so angry right now. I'm so upset that they killed this guy off. I really liked him, man. Somebody who wants to mix things up a bit. So Tyrion, is Tyrion killing off supporters of Robin Hill? I feel like at this point, he's trying to ex like take Robin out of the competition so Jacques can go up against Ironwood based on the intro. But like, what would be the motivation unless Watts and Jacques know each other and they're, and they're working together in that regard? Oh, I'm so fucking pissed, man. I'm so annoyed. First Pilot Boy, then Sienna Khan, now Forrest. I think this was one of the best episodes of this show, period. Like, period. I think this was like one of the best episodes of Ruby to date engaging the entire way through they spent a decent amount of time on the upgrades showcasing all of the upgrades i was surprised i, I thought i didn't think everyone was going to get upgrades because like the intro didn't really show off that many people got them but i love how they saved a lot of things for for this like this felt like a reveal even though we knew the outfits even though we knew things like uh like uh like jean's shield shield basically he has a sword sword and a shield shield now which is pretty dope it has hard light dust and i believe gravity dust which is cool Wow, man. This was such an engaging episode. The the Aesops, they are the cream of the crop. They are the definition of huntsmen. A, a, a team, a huntsman team, no less. And all of them, like, I can only imagine what they've gone through together to get to this point. You know what I mean? And this is, what, this is why it re reminds me of Squad Levi. Because Levi's squad, they just were fighting Titans without even exchanging words. That's how in sync they were. And, and these guys, they're obviously making shot calls and, and stuff like that, but I've never seen a more well-oiled machine in my life. This was sick. Look at that. And they just call out the name. Dude, Jesus speeds. <laughs> the music worked really well with the scene too. And the, look at them, the rookies in training. You guys have a long way to go. You guys have such a long way to go. This Grim was just taking for a ride. I feel bad for it, honestly. It, had, it didn't even stand a what chance. You guys do without me? Wow. And then this guy, the fucking leader. Look at this. I love the cameraman. 
I, I, I love scenes like, like it's, it just feels a lot of energy, dynamic, constantly moving. It doesn't feel bland or boring. This was a great episode. Look at this. He's like, yo, give me a little bit of that extra luck. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> wow. Look at that, man. He's got the super rod and then sure you can. That is crazy good. Each one got one. Look at that. <laughs> one of the best. I, I honestly want to say like one of the best episodes of Ruby is this episode. It had everything. It had absolutely everything for everybody. Wow. Wow. I love it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it so much to go back and talk about. Um, I think this was a fantastic first introduction to the Aesops. I think Kruby did a great job. Whoever wrote this, like obviously Miles Carey, Eddie Kiersey, but whoever put this together, they sold ate the Aesops in a, in a fantastic way. Like up until this episode, I was optimistic, but I was just like, how, how, how well are they going to sell off five more characters on top of the ones we already have on top of the ones that we, we, we have, and we haven't even gotten, you know, development for. Like, how, how well can they deliver five more characters and make me feel and care for them? And um, at the very least, I'm incredibly impressed. I love all of their personalities. They mesh really well with Team Ruby as being like, you know, they're like, oh, they almost feel like mentors in this in this instance, because like everybody else here is a, is a novice by comparison. Wow. Um, I'm impressed. I really, really, really like them. I like the leader. I like I like Clover Ebby so much more. Good luck. He vibes really well with Crow. Um charismatic dude out of all of them i love i think i think elm the 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 big girl uh elm and clover are probably oh no the dog oh my god stay he has like stop time semblance that's so bad and then his weapon too like the fact that it has it's like a bladed it, it seems to be a bladed boomerang that's also a gun yeah yeah H hats off to the crewby hats off to the animation team you guys blew this episode out of the fucking water this is legitimately one of the best episodes of ruby period i'm 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 salty i'm so salty they killed this guy off i'm so annoyed that they killed this guy off he was meant only for exposition and then they got rid of him and this guy's this guy's got body bags already he's been in fucking mantle for like a day and he's already like, he's just on a field he's just killing random people reporters random houses this guy who's an advocate for 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 robin hill he's eventually gonna go after robin <sighs> i'm annoyed i'm so upset i'm so upset man i i this was a great episode from the outfit reveal to the setup of the episode there was a lot more world building on the on the just kind of explaining and setting up like this felt so real i felt so immersed i was freaking stimulated to like a ridiculous degree because things were happening and i was reacting to everything and it, it just felt it felt so hyper wow great episode great episode overall really liked it the shinny dust company like Ilya reference maybe adam reference maybe to like the brand on his face we got the sentinel grim Yang has explosives? Like, what? Like, oh my god. Like, Yang has explosives on her Ember Celicas now. So she's close range. She's short range and, like, med range. Like, I don't know if she can shoot them onto people. I don't know if she did that or if she, like, had physical contact. Let me check this out real quick. Oh my god. Ruby can reverse and inverse. Look at that. Yo! Catch these hands, my guy. <laughs> wow okay so weiss and blake don't really seem to look at wow <laughs> the combos are gonna be crazy man this guy i lo i love marrow he's such a he's such a he's such an awesome dude i am so impressed by this guy stay stay <laughs> And then this girl, that reminds me of like the Surge, like the exosuits. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing and basically re-reacting to the episode. Um, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. Really, really impressed with this first take. I love the Aesops already, camaraderie, teamwork. Um, the fact that they, they basically showed up Team Ruby. They basically did all of the work. 
uh, and Team Ruby was just there kind of taking notes. And then, I mean, Team Ruby was also putting in work a bit. Um, I also like that they're addressing the lie that Ruby told. They're, they're going to tell him eventually, and I was, I was hoping for that, but I still feel like the longer you wait, the, the sooner things can go to shit and the sooner things can build up and pile up to the point where even if you tell them the truth, the damage is going to be done. Um, but with all that said, I, I'm a big fan of the episode. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. One of the best episodes of Ruby to date period. And, um, I'd love to know what you guys thought. I'm sorry if this reaction was literally all over the place, but it quite literally was all over the place. Like in, in so many good ways, like, oh my God, I got to go back and rewatch it too. The discussion is going to be exciting. I don't even know how I'm going to talk about this in the rapid fire. There's so many things to talk about. Doggo tail. That's great. Uh, but all that, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was entertaining. Leave your thoughts in the comments and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.